Welcome to a deep dive you won't soon forget. Today, we're all about digestive ostomies. And we're going way beyond ostomy 101. This isn't about the basics. Right, think of it more like, you know, we're pulling back the curtain, getting into the nitty gritty. For those of us who don't speak doctor, that's basically digestive ostomy. And what better place to start than by, you know, really digging into what an ostomy is. Okay, so we've all heard the term ostomy, but if you had to explain it to, say, a friend who's totally clueless. Right. Right. You'd say it's a surgery. Yeah. A surgical procedure where they create an opening. An opening, like on your stomach. Yeah. On the abdomen. It's called a scoma. And it's like a little pathway, a detour for, well, for waste to leave the body. So that's where the, uh, you know, the bag comes in. Exactly. It collects the waste that would normally, you know, pass through the uh, rectum and anus. Right. Right, of course. But this stoma, this opening, the document makes it seem like it's like seriously engineered or something. It is. They use like a section of your intestine. They pull it out, create the stoma and like suture it to your skin. It's wild. Wow. I never knew. And that's um permanent. Sometimes. It really depends. Some folks need them for like a little while, maybe to recover from another surgery. Like a temporary detour. Exactly. Then they reverse it. Yeah. But for others, it's a long-term solution. And the document it really highlights when a permanent ostomy might be necessary, you know, situations like if, if they have to remove the entire rectum. Intense. And I can only imagine that's a really tough decision to make. Absolutely. It's a huge life change. And this document really emphasizes that, you know, the psychological impact. Yeah, it's not just the physical stuff. Right. It makes you think about, like, body image, intimacy. Hmm. It's a lot. And that's why support is so, so crucial. And the document mentions that there are actually different types of ostomies, right? Like, depending on which part of the intestine they use. You got it. Eliostomy and colostomy. The big difference is all about location, location, location. Okay, so walk us through this. What's an ileostomy? So imagine your small intestine. That's where an ileostomy happens. The output there is way more liquid because it hasn't gone through the whole digestive process yet exactly the large intestine you know that's where your body does its final water absorption but with an ileostomy that waste hasn't been there yet makes sense so then a colostomy that's further down using the large intestine outputs usually more solid but both come with their own like you know management tips the document mentioned something about skin irritation being a bigger concern with ileostomies. For sure. Liquid waste, it's just naturally more irritating. But there are ways to manage it. Special barriers, powders, you name it. It's amazing what they can do these days. That's good to hear. This has been seriously eye-opening. We've learned so much from this ostomina digestiva document. Right. But we've only just scratched the surface. There's a whole world of advancements out there. New ostomy appliances, surgical techniques, support groups. It's true. So to our listeners, don't let this be the end of your ostomy journey. Keep asking questions. Keep researching. Because knowledge is power. And hey, maybe knowing a little bit more about ostomies can help you support someone in your life who's navigating this themselves. Exactly. You never know who might be going through something silently. Okay, folks, that's a wrap on another deep dive. We'll catch you in the next one.